This idea has been floating around in the back of my sleep-deprived brain for the last two weeks, but has not really surfaced until today. I think anyone with two brain cells that occasionally collide has noticed the overabundance of stories that focus rather heavily on deconstruction of certain archetypes. Now, to be fair, some of these deconstructions have been done relatively well. See Logan, or the first couple of seasons of Game of Thrones. But then you get all of Latter-day Game of Thrones, the current iteration of the MCU, and of course the now-deceased DCEU, as well as about every video game adaptation made to date, not to mention Disney Wars, where the word of the day was subversion, whether it fit the story or not. How many times have we seen our supposed heroes turn out to be pathetic losers who really weren't that cool to begin with because of incongruent, retarded writer reasons? Now, subversion is not, in and of itself, a bad thing. But it is the tool used by talentless hacks to destroy the works of better creatives, out of incompetence or pure spite. And it wouldn't be quite so bad if it was not everywhere. Luke Skywalker got changed into a deadbeat recluse waiting to die on an island out on the Galactic Rim because he realized he was a white male in a modern Star Wars project. The same can be said of Nick Fury, who had never, apparently, accomplished anything himself. It was all the scrolls, and he got his eye scratched out by a pussy. Or shall we looky over at the god-awful ending of Game of Thrones, where we saw every single piece of setup subverted for no other reason than to subvert the story? Usually, with the politics of the day shoved into it like a fat chick into a VW Beetle because the creatives involved felt fishy that day. This is all fine and shit the first time you see it, but as I have stated, it is everywhere. And one of the biggest results of this is that because this is practically all Hollywood has done, of course, when we don't get hammered over the head with poorly done subversion in a story, but rather get a good old-fashioned story like, say, Reacher or Terminalist, Everyone loses their shit and proclaims it manna from heaven simply because it was not trying to enforce behaviors and subvert expectations. I will touch briefly on this here when it comes to video game adaptations, but it will require, I think, a much longer video that goes into it in depth. But nearly every time we get some pretentious stick in the ass who despises the source material and actively attempts to subvert the source material at every turn. The Witcher actively undermined the titular character. Yes, I am aware that they were adapting the books, but that show does not happen without the games introducing a largely book-illiterate culture to it. It should have been crafted in the vein of the games with a strong focus on the Witcher hunting and killing monsters, not fucking about in interchangeable gray fantasy world number 57. Or Halo, which should have been crafted in breathless homage to the games. Hell, if they had floated in between the books and the games, they could have had a pretty decent idea for the script. Instead, we got our expectations subverted, and our hero dies in the first season as well as taking his helmet off, as well as spending a significant portion of the runtime with his ass hanging out. Because the creatives wanted to deconstruct these heroes without even knowing what made them in the first place, and there lies the heart of the issue. Deconstruction of a genre or story done properly can be interesting once, maybe twice at most, but after that, it begins to blend into a maudlin, tired, spiteful shitshow of modern MCU proportions. Every single character from the past is stripped of virtue. Every single world is changed to be antithetical to its canon, not because it's needed, but because modern creatives cannot create anything new. Because evil cannot create anything new, ladies and gentlemen, it can only corrupt and destroy that which good forces have created. But tell me what you think down below. This has been Pete, the Radical Nerd, signing off.